boy lagging 24 coming at you with some custom zombies on the PC. What's up, every body? What's going on, you guys? Who remembers Little Resistance from the World at War campaign? This is it right here. If you guys remember, like you would jump in this puddle, and I think maybe I don't even know this puddle, and then probably this puddle, and then you come over here to this puddle. And then you would stand for a second and then the pillar would come out of the ground and you could get the ray gun to go fight the Japanese army in a campaign mode. That was sick, dude. I used to love World at War. I will say this though, World at War was probably one of the most annoying campaigns I ever played and not because the AI was like too strong. Like they weren't like the greatest aim or anything, but they grenade spammed you like nobody else in the history of Call of Duty. These guys had 5 million grenades and they would hit you with every single one of them. And I would die so many times from grenades. But this is Little Resistant Zombies, right? I don't actually know the name of the map, but if you want to play the map, it'll be down below in the description of the video. You can go check it out on the Steam Workshop. But this is a campaign level from World at War with zombies on it. So that's really cool. I think we're just going to push up the beach. It does have an actual Easter egg that we're gonna be doing today as well. So if you are new around here and you like custom zombies, like or just zombies in general, hit the subscribe campus. button, turn that notification bell on, and also do whatever else you have to do after you click the notification bell, because I think there's another step that you have to like click. I want all of Lagan's videos, because YouTube's ridiculous. They really, really make it hard for you to watch the people you wanna watch. I don't know why, but that's yeah. just how they roll. That's just how YouTube rolls. They're just like, oh, whatever. Whatever. And of course, if you go on to enjoy this map, drop a like for me, that would be appreciated too. Thanks guys. Oh my God, please don't zombie. Oh, they're coming in hot. Okay, well that makes sense. There's a, there's a lot of room. So yeah, it's probably best that they're not walking or the first like five rounds might take forever. And I don't have forever, but I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna kill you. Let's go boys. Let's make sure we're not getting snuck up on from behind. The zombies are kind of quiet in this map. I don't really hear them coming until they're right on me. Here's one. I see you. I see you. Boop. And boop. One more boop. <laughs> and round two's over. Boop. We got him. Sweet. Max ammo. Just what I always wanted when I only have a pistol. Let's get, on the house. let's get like a real gun. Where are we at? Let's go here. How much? 1,200. Okay. It's got to be a real gun coming up soon. I think we can go another pistol round. Oh, here we go. What are you? What are you gonna be? The type 100 for a thousand. I need 10 more points. Are you serious? Well, there we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. 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 Got it. Get it. Now you're gonna get it, zombies. So the Easter egg on this map is us needing to find five specific radios. They're gonna make a noise, I guess. And then we need to destroy them. And then once we do that, we can do something very special. And then we can start working on the viable ending. So it's kind of a short Easter egg. But I think this map originally came out with nothing to do but survive and buy perks. And that was it. So the mapper added this little Easter egg in for those of us who like endings to our custom zombie maps, which I do. I, I typically won't play one if it's only survival because there's just really nothing to do, right? Besides survive. And I know that's how zombies started off, but it's evolved into so much more over the years. So like I, I would, you would think the custom zombie community, the mappers would also do that, but a lot of them still just do survival maps and you know, to each their own. This is a trap, huh? Well, yeah, turn that on. Let's not though. The next round has begun round four. You haven't seen any perks yet, except for a quick revive out on the beach. But I think we'll probably get, we'll probably start seeing some soon, right? This is like the third area we're in now. So we should see some pretty soon. Can we climb up here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. I do see a Wonder Fizz machine over that way. I'm starting to wonder when the hell we're ever gonna get told when the next Call of Duty is. Now, I know that there was like a Time GameStop leak uh, you where they've got like promotional shirts for their employees for the next Call of Duty. And it says the date that they're allowed to start wearing them on is like late this month. Like the 28th of May and the, or like the 6th of June, I think it was. There was like two different dates. So I suppose sometime between those two dates or on one of those dates is when we're going to get our official reveal for. And it's like we already all know it's Modern Warfare 4, so just come on with it. But I'm pretty excited about some Modern Warfare. Hey, look, there's Speed Cola. That's nice. Let's see. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, I could hear that. 
Yeah, I guess we broke it. it. It's making like a little, little tiny noise. I'm not gonna grab quick revive quite yet, but what I do need is some ammo or another gun. Let's go this way. Uh, there is literally no gun on the wall out here. Okay, we might have to backtrack for another gun because this ain't good. I've got 36 bullets. But it's like, we already all know it's Modern Warfare 4. Come on, come on. But I'm excited for it because like, we haven't had, good, we can drop down there. I was taking a chance. We haven't had a campaign now in over a year and Modern Warfare series, if you ask me, is the best campaign that there is. Now, I am not one of those people who was mad when we didn't get a campaign. I just don't care enough. I like playing the Call of Duty campaign. I, I, paid them, I play them all. What is wrong with my... I can't speak English today. I play them all. But that being said, I only play them once. So it's not really a big deal. It's not like I play Call of Duty for the campaigns. But with Modern Warfare? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited for it. I am really excited. Plus, a modern day shooter. When the hell's the last time we've had one of those? Is Black Ops 4 typically... Technically, a... Mo a, a call it's like I can't speak today. Is Modern Warfare 4 technically... One more time lagging. You got it this time. Hey guys, is Black Ops 4 technically a modern day shooter? <laughs> I did it. I did it. I asked a question in English and I don't know that it is. So if that's the case, it has been... Good God. How long? Black Ops 3 was definitely not. And then you had... I don't even know what we had after that. What was it? Was it Infinite Warfare? Which was te definitely not. World World uh, World War Two uh, World War Two Call of Duty was definitely not. And the Black Ops Four, I don't think is probably forgetting something in there too. It's been a long time, man. So I'm ready. Modern day guns, modern day locations, modern day score streaks. Sounds like a good time to me. It sounds classic, classic Call of Duty. That's what we need, man. Let's get rid of these specialist abilities, Let's see. which are fun, but like, if yeah, we're gonna have something called fair. modern warfare, I don't need to have all this extra nonsense, all right? Just put a gun in my hand, give me some grenades, and some equipment, or some flashbangs, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm gonna be happy. Now, when it comes to like the secondary mode, or I guess the secondary mode, I don't even know. The first mode is campaign, second mode is Multiplayer third mode would oh my god. Yeah, so like I was saying before so rudely interrupted by the zombies is that uh, The third mode would typically typically be zombies. I have no idea what they're doing this year Because of the rumor that there's gonna be year two DLC for black ops 4 that would lead us to believe there will be zombies Well into next year for black ops 4 uh, So I don't really know what they're gonna be doing for modern warfare 4 what they have back then for Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops and like survive there was like survival survival mode or something like that where you uh you and your co-op partners or you can do it solo would take on oh my god I'm gonna go down again you don't hear these zombies I'm not joking they just come up on you um would take on human AI and then you would just have to survive wave after wave each wave getting more difficult much like zombies with but with humans and some uh, some different different play styles you call in like uh you could call in like air support and stuff like that which was pretty cool to help Gotta out some more so like that could be the secondary mode or third mode but i have no idea i have no what i do we even want that i don't think anybody Let's wants that but i guess some meat i mean if black ops is gonna be pumping out more zombie content then what do i care you know have we not found any more radios you guys See if we could find some more in here it's dark in here well, the light's finally coming through, but I don't see any radios in here. Okay, what is this gun? The Winchester? That's a big no-no. Don't want that. What do I have? I have the grease gun now. All right. I think the next round is starting. So before we go down in that next bunker, let's hang out here. Wait, is this the last zombie? Or is this a new zombie? Oh, that's a new zombie. All right, we've got zombies spawning in. All right. Okay, there's mule kick. Where's Jug? A double tap. I know where speed is. We need to double back and They're get speed everywhere. cola. Awesome. We got a lot of zombies on us and I don't really know the way to run around here So we're just gonna wing it. We'll just wing it. Should be fine if I don't stand still for very long It's a big this whole map is pretty easy. I, sh I can't believe I went down actually Because it's so open. There's so much room But like wow, I guess when the zombies are full sprint and kind of stealthy and then you don't hear them I guess you could go down Definitely go down because I did Reese Gun's doing all right for us though. Oh, double points will be nice. Double points. double points will be nice. We can get some of these perks as soon as we find them all. 
I, I'm gonna try to make a crawler so I can actually do some exploring. We got a lot of points, so let's take these dudes over here, throw a grenade at them, and see if we can get a the crawler. There goes the nade. Kaboom. Awesome. And no. All right. Well, that's fine. We got we got a tall dude with this. So I'm gonna run over here and get speed cola. Then I'm gonna come back to where I am and open that bunker and see what's in it. I do have quite the fast zombie behind me, so I just want to run through here real quick and see what's in here. I don't guess that's one of the radios. Hey, a secondary gun. Need some more ammo. What's that? The Nambu Type 2. Oh, baby. I like this thing. Okay, so. I don't see another radio in here, but... Oh, I hear one. There's definitely one right here somewhere. Let me kill this guy. Then we got to get out of here quick. It's right there. All right, that's two. Two out of the five found. And we'll grab double tap while we're here. And open this up. And now we're broke again. Why is this stuff so And we're right back chewy. out here. Where do we go next? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, right there is where we go next. And we've got... Uh, we just missed a jug, basically. Oh, there's a bunker over here, too. Oh, shit. Zombies are here. Wow. That was fast. Fair enough, though. We're going to destroy them now with this double tap. And we can reload super fast. I'm pretty sure the Nambu might be, don't kill me for this, but it might be an AR. I don't know if it's an SMG or an AR, but this thing is sick. I like it. Hip fire on it's nasty too. Real nasty. Oh, death machine, let's go. The spray and spray. That's all you gotta do. Oh, we got a nuke though. I didn't want to get that. Boom! Want to support so I can open up these doors that we're about to go in this big bunker here. Oh, that was the end of the round, are you kidding me? All right, we're gonna do another round and then we'll go in there. Definitely make a crawler first. Then we'll go inside of the big bunker. Back to the subject matter at hand, though. The third game mode from Modern Warfare 4 could be that Spec Ops and Survival mode, right? It could also be zombies. Infinity Ward has done zombies, and they did a fun job of it, too, man. Zombies in Space Line. A lot of people love that map. And, and some of the DLC that came along with Infinity Ward zombies was pretty good, if you ask me. Um... Attack the Radioactive Thing was probably my favorite out of the bunch. I know that a lot of people will disagree with that, but for me, it was one of my favorite. Uh, Shaolin Shuffle was fun. I didn't really like Beast from Beyond. Totally missing one, too. I, I, oh, yeah, Raven of the Redwoods. I think a lot of people like that one. So they, they did a good job, man. So if they come back with zombies, that'd be great. I know that I've mentioned before that Lee Ross is working over at Treyarch now, but he's just one person. They still got a whole team of people over there. So who knows what they're going to do. Almost out of ammo on this thing, huh? Well, let's see. Grenade crawler, please. Oh, we got one. Lucky for us. All right, let's go inside the bunker and see what's inside. And then also, they could be doing something completely new. Completely different. So who knows, man? Nobody. Oh, yeah, that's right. They also did extinction. I totally forgot about that, too. They could be doing extinction. I don't see a radio anywhere, but here's the box. We give it one little hit. No, let's see if we can open up everything first then we'll come back and hit this we've got two radios so far is that right that's it we're missing we're missing some radios man i gotta find three more that looks like one yeah that's three all right we need two more hopefully there's two more down here hey there you are jug i knew i'd find you eventually thanks pal reach for juggernaut tonight oh there's another one four i guess the fifth one's gonna be in here somewhere don't see it so far. What is this? A uh, trap. Okay, we don't need to open this, right? We could just go back out the way we came. But looks like there's Damn this it. way. No and I don't have enough points to get up there. So another round it is. But at least we have Jug now. We're one radio away from completing that part of the Easter egg. Then we can move on to the next part of the Easter egg. Probably just do a box spin since we're going to go ahead and earn some more points anyways. Let's see what we get. Oh. I'm gonna teach I want to do a Springfield only round? Let's do it. I've got this. I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to sniping at zombies. Let's go. Stealthy, no noise making zombies, and a sniper rifle. What could go wrong? Oh, God. It's horrible when it first pulls up. It's Wow, it zooms in first, then puts the scope in front of you. It's so weird. Yeah, that's disorienting, to say the least, but we got this. I'm gonna kill them all, don't worry. I don't need that insta-kill because this thing is an insta-kill. Got him. We got him. I think I got him. Did not get him. Yeah, this is a tricky way to do a round, and I don't think I'm going to earn a lot of points like this, so this is kind of stupid of me, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, who cares? Let's have some fun playing custom zombies today in your face. Might have missed that one, though. Whoa, more shit to kill with. Max Amos or Nambu should be good. No, I gave up the Nambu for this. What was I thinking? 
Well, that amber's a wall gun anyway, so if we want it really badly, we can get it back. But we are gonna have to spin the box again, because I am not keeping this thing. Or I can just go rebuy the Nambu. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Line up for me. There we go. Boy, I just destroyed this round. Oh my god. It's over. Wait, we are keeping score. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that hurt me just as much as it hurt them. We got him though. Alright, cool. Well, Springfield's pretty nasty. Let's go, uh yeah, let's go open the door that we couldn't open and see what is in the rest of this bunker. If I remember the campaign correctly, this is isn't this where like a tank shows up and blows up this whole bunker? I can't quite remember, but I know there's an upstairs. So I think this will take us upstairs, I think. Let's see. Let me see and look out for a radio, gang. See another one somewhere. Yeah, upstairs. Here we go. Oh no, another door. Are you serious? Fifteen hundred. Come on. If I can't place a dice. You know, if we didn't use the sniper the next round, the last round, we would have had a ton of points. Still have like two to three thousand points left. Now I gotta. Now I've gotta do another round. Let's see what's upstairs. What you got for me? Monkey bombs. Monkey. All right. So I'm just gonna use the grease gun this round. And get the points we need and then go upstairs and find that last radio because you know what's up there crawler time all right boys crawl for me one of you okay or three of you See if we can sort this out all right keep those two hell yeah let's go finally i've got 4500 points you see the difference between using a springfield and an smg you get a lot more points this way all right so upstairs we go to find out what is there now and so we had to pay for this door, and there's nothing even in this room. And then we got to pay for this door. That's cheap, Mapper. Cheap tactic, not cool. Ooh, we got plenty of space up here. Oh, we can drop down to the bottom floor there. We're looking for one more radio. See if we can find it. We got uh, Simtex or something on the wall here. Frag grenades. Oh, stamina ups here. Cool. Oh, is that our radio? No, that's an ammo box. Ammo box. Ammo box. Hey, look who it is, Mr. Pack-a-Punch. How's it going, pal? Oh, I hear the radio. Oh, there it is. No, that's one of those other ones that aren't really a radio. Even though it's clearly a radio. Aha! Okay. Now we've... Oh, the STG's on the wall up here. Yeah, we need, we need something like this in our life. Let's Give grab it to this. Me, baby. That's what we need. Then we need to pack a punch when we can. And then I think we'll just wonder fizz the rest of our perks. All right. So now it's time for the... We've done the radios. So now we can do the next step of the Easter egg. So I've got to run all the way back out to the beach. Some of you may know what's coming. Okay, so we're back out on the beach and much like the Easter egg in the actual campaign where you could get the ray gun, we got to do those steps right now too, except we're not going to get a ray gun. And I think the key to this was going in each puddle and crouching or something like that. So let's just crouch in this one. And then let's come in here and crouch in this one. Okay, probably good. And then let's crouch in this one. Okay, and then... He wants to stand in the last one and just wait. Oh, it's working. Yes, it's just like in the campaign. That is awesome. So there's a radio here. Press F to call the ship. It costs $100,000, 100,000 points, but we will get an extraction ship if we press S, F. What is wrong with me today? As soon as I get 100,000 points. So that's a lot of points. By the way, we've got 98,000 to go. Um, so there's not a song long enough in the world for me to do a montage of me points building like I normally do. So I think I'll do the first 10,000 with you and the last 10,000 with you, and then we'll call it a day. So a little editing coming your way. But for now, let me find these two stragglers we got. Let's kill them. And then we just really got to hope we get some double points, stuff like that. Avoid picking up nukes. And I don't know a good place to be at, but let's start out right here and see how the zombie spawns work out. I want a place where the zombie spawns are going to be nice and fast. So I don't really want to be in a super big area, but I don't want to be in a super small area either because that's just dangerous. This is a nice little medium-sized area. It seems like we're getting some decent spawns right now too. This might not take the rest of my life to complete this Easter egg. I don't know why someone would give you a 100,000 point viable ending without some sort of assistance. Like so far, we haven't seen any uh, power drops that give you extra points. You know, like uh, blood money. And there's no perk on the map that I'm aware of, like Double Dew or anything that'll give you extra points. So this is a true 100,000 point grind right here. This will be great, huh? Look at the STG. And the Grease Gun is really close by. And I might pack a punch one of these guns and leave one unpacked. Make one really strong in case we get in trouble. The other one's mostly like a pea shooter. 
Do we just keep get get a lot of hit marker points? Thus, more points per kill. And then so that's what we'll do. That's the strat. See, we're already at, we're already at like 6,000 points, so... Maybe this won't take the rest of my life, but it probably will. It mostly will. I gotta get some more ammo for my, my pea shooter, though. The Nambu is the way to go. It had a lot more ammo than the... Actually, I think the Grease Gun's got a, a fair amount of ammo once we uh, get max ammo for it. Let's see how much this thing has. Yeah, 240 in reserve is not bad for a little SMG. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not even going to pick that up. Got a max ammo, so my STG should be all good. Come on, boys. I don't think I don't think this will be a problem. I don't think that I'm going to get any other perks than what I have. Like, I know Wonder Fizz is fun. It's got a random perk generator over there, and it only costs 1,500 to spend, so it's just a good time. But, like, why waste the points if I don't really need any other perks? I mean, if there's Widow's Wine in there, that might be helpful, but... Eh. I think we're going to be all right. As you can see, this is pretty easy. Kind of like a cakewalk, really. I mean, I know that later on, there's going to be a lot more zombies, and they're going to be a little harder to kill, but still, there's plenty of room right here. There's nothing. Literally nothing in my way. Apper forgot to put, like, a log in the middle of this or something. This is way too easy of a trading spot. There's 10,000, so... I don't know, in a blink of an eye, guys, should be at 100,000. And just like that, guys, we're at 90,000 points. Not 100,000 yet, but uh, we're almost there. I did have one, oops, I fell down and made a boo-boo where the zombies ate me. But uh, that happens. That happens, actually, two. We've had two, I've had two downs, okay? Don't judge me. I've, it's tough. It's tougher than it looks, all right? The zombies are relentless. They won't stop coming at me. Take that. It right, looks like we're gonna have to play one last round so we can escape off the island onto a ship. I've been using this grease gun. It's been getting me so many points per round. I think when I left you guys at like 10,000-ish points, we were on round 14. So it's really only taken about 10 rounds to get to where we're at right now, which is pretty much the ending. And I did go down, like I said, and I had to rebuy all my perks. So it would really only have been maybe about nine rounds I didn't have to rebuy all my perks, so it didn't take that long to grind to 100,000. This little grease gun gets a ton of points, man, because it's not really killing anything. It's just hoarding up all the points. But let me let me train these dudes up. We'll do a couple turns and burns. Then we're going to make a mad dash for the beach. Get the hell out of here. Remember, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it, please. Thank you so much. Love you and I mean it. And also, if you're new, subscribe, notification bell, turn it on, and then click Yes, I want all of this guy's videos. All right? Not just some YouTube. Thanks. Here we go. See what I'm talking about? Look at all those points. Look at all those points. Watch. Watch. Just keeps going. There we go. We got 100,000. Now what we should do is just take these guys out to the beach with us. All right? Let's not even let's not kill them all. Because they don't have zombies spawning everywhere. And it'll be really tough. Let's just take a left here. And then what I'm hoping, and I hope we're not disappointed here, guys, but the map was fun. I'll give the map uh, a 7 out of 10. It's just a little too wide open uh, for a 10 out of 10. But visually, it's awesome. Definitely has some nostalgia taking us back to World at War. But we can go from a 7 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10 if there's an actual ship that pulls up and not just an end screen find out right now but i love this throwback easter egg though well, let's give it an eight out of ten just for this throwback easter egg that was dope all right here we go you bastard there's no ship all right guys that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed and as always it's been your boy lagging 24 and i will see you uh, next time